Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use Pi on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do this we'll use the menu key that looks like this located here, the exe or execute key that looks like this located here, the shift key that looks like this located here, the times 10 to the x with the shift function of pi that looks like this located down here and the s to d or conversion key that looks like this located here when we first turn on this calculator we're usually brought to the main menu screen if we're not brought to that but instead in some other mode for example the stats mode we can get to the main menu by pressing the menu key here now to work with Pi, we want to be in the run mode. That's this one in the top left. So we'll highlight that and press the EXE or execute key. There we go. Now we can begin working. If we just want to get Pi, what we do is press shift and then the times 10 to the X key with the shift function of Pi. And then if we hit the execute key, there we go. We get the Pi symbol. We can convert that to the decimal with the S to D or conversion key here and see we get 3.14159 etc. And we can convert back again with the same S to D key. Pi is useful in a lot of calculations, especially working with circles. For example, let's say we wanted to determine the circumference of a circle with a radius of 11 centimeters. To solve this, we use the formula circumference is equal to 2 pi times r. So we can start by entering the 2, and then we need to enter the pi. So we go shift times 10 to the x, there's our pi, and then times r, which is our radius of 11 centimeters. So times 11, press equals or execute, and that gives us 22 pi, which we can convert to 69.115, etc. We can also use pi to determine the area of a circle. For example, the area of a circle with a radius of 12 centimeters. We know we need to use this formula here area equals pi times r squared. So to solve this, we can first put our pi on the screen and then go times our radius, which was 12 in this question, and then square that and press execute and we see we get 144 pi which we can convert to 452.389 etc all right i hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there everybody